weekend. 649, it is your money powered by BMW on this Friday. That's right, Craig Treadway. Good morning. You got a guest this morning. That's right. You know, job interviews can be uncomfortable, but when they take a turn into Awkwardville, they can be downright unbearable. So how can you come out on top of a tricky interview situation? Well, here with some advice is career consultant and author of the 10 K's of personal branding, Kaplan Mowbray. Okay. Welcome back. Thank you so much. Great to be back here. All right, let's get right to it. You're on an interview. You've got an interviewer with a difficult name, a name difficult to pronounce. What do sure. you do? First of all, details matter. We are in a situation where it's specific opportunities will come by the details that you make. So get the name right. Do not leave it to chance. I say call up ahead, call the receptionist, find out the actual interviewer's name beforehand, or call the automated telephone automated line and actually get a sense of that name before you go into the interview. All right, next up, uh, let's talk about you have a personal crisis. You, yes. You're sick, uh, your car breaks down, yes. you have a wardrobe malfunction. Sure. How do you handle something like that before an interview? You know, Every interview situation is an amazing opportunity before you even get into the door. So one of the things I advocate is if you have a wardrobe malfunction, if you're running late the next morning, this is an amazing opportunity to show how you handle a crisis situation. And actually people will be looking at how you deal under pressure. So I say go through with the interview, explain the situation, and make sure you ask for the opportunity to actually go through and show your skills. Okay, it's a great live situation. Here's something that I'm sure you get a lot of questions about uh, sure. from young ladies. Uh, what do you tell the interviewer or do you tell the interviewer if you have young children or if you may be pregnant? Yeah, you know, it's, it's a, one of the biggest challenges now with interviewing and going for a job, but I say do not hide the truth. Your future employer will find out anyway. What I advocate is that you walk into that interview and you talk about the importance of, of workforce and, and supporting women in their careers. And actually, you talk about the company's policies. That way, you put them on notice that you support what they do and that you are here as a great candidate for that opportunity. So do not hide the truth. Okay, now there's been a lot of downsizing, people losing their jobs. Sure. How do you handle an interview if you've been fired from a previous job? How, how much do you talk about it? How sure. do you talk about it? You know, we're in an age where the economy has had several victims, people who are highly skilled who have been laid off because of the tough economy, the tough job market. Mm. What I say is always put the context of why you left with what you learned. So it's okay to talk about if you left a job or even been fired for a job, but what's important is to talk about what you learned from that experience and how it positions you to be a great candidate for that next job. Okay, let's talk about uh, financial situations yes. right now. Yes. A lot of people, credit scores are not too good. That's right. Jobs check your credit scores. Now, yes. what should you talk about in terms of your credit uh, worthiness or should you even talk about it at all? Well, if you have bad credit, I say don't discuss it. I say you don't want to, as a matter of, of rule, you don't want to draw the interviewer's attention away from anything that focuses away from your skills to do the job at hand. So make sure that you actually really focus on your professional skills, mm -hmm. your capabilities to do the job, and how you're going to add value. All right, a lot of things to talk about. I'm sorry we don't get, get a chance to get to everything, but we sure. appreciate you coming in, Kaplan. Uh, for more career advice, you can check out the 10 Ks of personal branding. It's available right now, the 10Ks of personal brand, branding. Kaplan, thanks a Thank lot. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Back to you.